Hi guys, welcome to the lecture. And now in this lecture, before we begin, let's see what tools we have in JavaScript. And just before that, let's understand JavaScript is the programming language of HTML and the web, which means it's more of a web application language. And now, as you know, that it has also expanded to mobile and other domains. Now, JavaScript is very easy to learn. This tutorial or the whole course will explain you how JavaScript works from the basic to the advanced. And it is always said that you understand more by examples than by actual content. And that's the reason in every example or every video, what you will see is we'll solve examples one by one. And then at the end of the course or a probably a logical point, you will have a set of exercises. So what this will enable you to do that if you have successfully gone through the lectures and probably practice along with me, the quiz or the challenges will actually challenge you to do the same thing and make sure that you understand how to write in code. Now, before even we begin, let's take a pause and understand where to write, what to write and how the whole lecture will be driven. So the first thing I want you to be introduced to is called JSBin. So if you just go on to JSBin.com, JSBin.com. So just to introduce you what JSBin is, so you can see, I just have a new file created and the moment you go on to JSBin.com, all you will see is a small template, which is an HTML template, which has doc type as HTML which starts an HTML tag, which means all your HTML has to go within the HTML tag. You have the head tag, which will be nothing but the header. So whatever you see out here, which is JS bin, you can play with it as a title. So this is say my first JS and you can see it gets updated out here. So very easy, right? So this is an online text editor. And of course, not everyone may want to do this, but I prefer this. There are multiple reasons for it. One, it's online, so you don't have to worry. You don't have to carry your files. You don't have to be, you know, hooked up. Let's say you forgot your workspace or probably something got corrupted. Everything is online. It can be backed up and you can have versions of it. Second thing is it's easier to share. So if you have any questions or you get stuck, all you have to do is copy this URL and send it to me and I will be able to look into it or probably other students in the Q&A section and we can help you out what the problem is so that we all can learn together. And the third thing is, of course, it's very easy. You don't have to write the boilerplate all, all the time again. So you always have a template defined and you can just get started. And that's the reason we are using JSPIN. Of course, there are other providers like JSFiddle or CodePen.io, but we are sticking with JSPIN. It is very easy and intuitive to use. Now I'll just walk you through what JSPIN is so that you understand. So whenever you click on a tab, you see the particular block of uh, code that gets enabled. So let's say you click on HTML, the HTML code gets appeared. If you click on CSS, the CSS code comes up. If you click on JavaScript, the JavaScript code comes up. You can hide them by clicking again. You can also see the console. We will probably see this a little detail when we move towards these chapters. And of course you can see the HTML output. So how the web page appears. So whatever you're seeing right now is a web page and how it appears again, that can be controlled out here. So we'll be playing with this ourselves. Now the first thing I'll advise you is go and create an account out here because it's very easy. It's free. Once you have the account, you can see all your files. Like for my case, I have all my lectures out here and I can also have different versions as you can see. So if I need different versions of things, I can maintain those. Similarly, you can. And once you have these files created, if you get stuck, all you need to do is type in in the Q and a section and I should be able to help you. So that was a little bit about JS bin and our editor that we are going to use. I think that should be a good start to explain you what JS bin is. And I'll see you in the next class where we write our first JavaScript code. And probably I'll walk you through on what JavaScript can do. However, we will see in detail what each of these things mean in the coming lectures. So I'll see you in the next class.